what's up guys uh, thank you very much for being an electrica i really appreciate that now today we are you know doing selector switch uh selector switch as the name goes uh it selects you know it can select either between two major powers or it can select between two or three uh, switching positions so it depends on, on on the application and what you want to use it for okay yeah, that's the reason. So let's talk about it and see how we can incorporate it in our circuit. Before we go forward, uh, uh, you, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And sharing, you only share to those people that you think this kind of content, uh, you know, interest them, okay? And uh, we also upload the videos Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, okay? So that's our schedule. Now, so, this selector switch, uh, you have seen something like this, okay? You have seen something like this where you you turn most of the panels you've seen, you know, uh, these uh, people turning it. Uh, if you need to change from one function to another, uh, you can use this uh, for changeover switches, for, you know, motor starters, all that, you can use that. You can use this selector switch, okay? So uh sometimes there are selector switch that uh, are made like this one here that are purposely are made for switching okay uh you see now like this one it's a bit compacted and uh, it has multiple contacts okay because you switch between uh three different positions okay but this one which you probably familiar with that uh, you use mostly on in these starters and uh, changeover switches they are just switches they are just push button switches that uh, you know you stack together now you see these are just two buttons you have a red and a, and, a, and a green okay that you stack on this kind of uh, base okay such that uh, you able you can either use a button uh, you can either use a button like this one, you press it, or you use uh, a knob that will help you to select. That's what I wanted to emphasize. Now, uh, here, this is what we are going to do, okay? We need to learn how to use a selector switch. Now, in this selector switch, I have two switches here, two push buttons uh, that are, are being put together. All of them are normally open, okay? So, this is how our circuit goes. Uh, you know, circuits help so much. That's why uh, we can spend some few minutes doing this, then we can show practically how to do that, okay? All right, so I'm going to draw here. So, what I've drawn is normally open two normally open so that's why we are drawing this selector switch okay and now this selector switch uh, it will be of course linked okay and now we have so you can have here maybe a uh, maybe b then you can have here uh, zero Okay, so those are the three positions that you have there. Now, uh, what we're going to do now, we need, because this switch, selector switch, has two positions, both of them are open. So, what we need to do is, uh, we are going to use it on a self-holding circuit. Uh, so, we have two choices that we can switch on our circuit uh, using a self-holding circuit by pressing the buttons. The other way around is that we can use anything. We can use a fraud switch, we can use a sensor, we can use a field switch, you know, so many things that we can do that. So let us go with, with a self-holding circuit first. So All right, 
So you remember in the previous video where we demonstrated this self-holding circuit, you remember that very well. So now you have your self-holding circuit here, so you have your start, you have your stop button right here, and then you have your holding. So now we have a selector switch here, okay? Then the other thing also, you're gonna have Okay, now this is the second line where you're going to connect what you're going to use, okay? So, for example, I've told you right here we are able to connect right here it can be a right here it can be a float switch Okay, it can be a level, it can be a level sensor, and so on and, and so forth, okay? So, right now you have your selector switch here, and now what we need to do is to connect, so one side, because there are two stacked, uh, normally open on this base here, okay? So we'll have one that will connect to this circuit here, and then the other one will connect to our circuit, okay? So, this can be a float switch, can be a level sensor, can be anything, okay? Or, or else, it can be just a link, you, you are able to switch on the circuit directly, as you will see as we demonstrate, okay? Alright, so, what you need to do here... So you have your L here that comes from there and connect here and also connect there, okay? So this is your neutral, okay? So so you have your selector switch right here and uh, it has two normally open, okay? So they are here, two normally open. So if you flip it, this side, it will connect to this line, but still it comes to the same, uh, to the same circuit, okay? So I hope you follow that. Now what you're gonna do, you will bring this one here. Hope we figure it out, okay? So you see that this now has bypassed uh, the buttons that you were using, okay? It has bypassed them. So if you flip this side, it means this will get closed. This is open, and now you can use this. This can be a field switch. This can be a fault switch. It can be whatever sensor. It can be whatever uh, fault switch that you want to use, okay? Then, but if you want to operate it manually with your push and push, that is start and stop button, then you can flip this to this side and press. That's why I'll put a three position is here, A, B, and then zero right here, okay? All right, so that is simple like that, okay? Uh, let me go to the table uh, right here such that you're able to understand more as we do it practically, all right? Okay, uh, all right. Now, we have uh, a selector switch here, then we have these buttons here, and a contactor. Now, that's what I was explaining earlier, that uh, you have, now you have a circuit, so this contactor runs something, runs a drive. It could be your motor, okay, or a pump. Now you have a switch, and then this, the selector can select between which side you want, uh, you know, to, to go. Okay, all right, now let's go ahead and wear that. So the first thing we do, we'll wire the selector switch first, okay? Now this one links the same way we did on the board.
this wire brings in power and it's sharing. Now the second thing we have to get uh, it from from on the line and then we feed the stop. So this one now will go to your to your start, I mean to your stop, which is the red one. Okay. So you make sure that uh, you see red here so that you don't mix it. So put it here. Okay, that's good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to go to the contactor, okay? From here, we have to take the wire here uh, to go to the contactor, okay? But we'll take it from this side because here we will link. Now, if you link, this is, you have your A1 right here. So this one will go to your A1 directory. Okay. This is a set of holding that you guys know. Now the other thing we have to do is to link uh, from to link here from start to start, from stop to start. Okay. Now after we've done that, we need to do what what we call self self holding. So we need to get here a wire. And this will help you to self to self hold your co your contactor. So this is normally open here that I'm putting. Okay. Now what you need to do is uh, to link uh, the self holding here that, as I showed you uh, on the board from here. And then you link it right here to the to A1. Now it seems that our circuit is done, but there is one more thing that we have not finished. So on the selector switch, we have connected one side. If you look at that, we have connected one side. We have not connected this side here. So we have to connect this side only. So now, our selector switch uh, that we have just connected, it will come directly up to here, okay? We are putting it here where we are self-holding our contact, okay? From here to here. Okay, now it's like we are done now, the only thing we have to do is to connect uh, the neutral here on A2. So, finally, we have two wires right here, okay? Two wires, a neutral and a live, the live that has gone through our selector switch, okay? Okay, now we have our supply here. We just need to connect it and see uh, what happens, is, okay? Okay, guys, now our selector switch is on now. Now this is our circuit. So you have your selector switch, uh, you have your buttons here, okay? So you can use a selector switch to switch on this circuit here. And this selector switch can be in the field, okay? This is a place where, you know, where it's a media factory and it's very huge, or it's a workshop. So you can have multiple of these. You switch to what you want, okay? So you can control this circuit being there but just by use of these, okay? Because you're going to run only two wires uh, or a few wires uh, instead of having these in each field, okay? So, though you, although you can, but this is better, okay? So now this is a selector switch. So you can turn out your contactor like this. It goes this side, okay? And you see, it's on. So even if you're to stop it won't stop because it has bypassed this button is here okay but if you you stop and then you move it in B or to the uh, or to the next side and then you can press okay and then when you press it runs your drive runs okay and then you can stop you start 
you stop okay the selector you can switch off if you switch off if it is in zero it won't start okay but you can start it just by using this okay so this uh your selector switch can be you know miles away okay and you only you, you've seen that we have only you know few wires here so you bring in one signal you bring in one signal from here okay uh, then it connects you know here and then you have your output here okay you have your output here so one goes to the one circuit and one goes directly either through a fraud switch or a sensor or anything that you you know might be the electrodes you know anything that you can connect here so long as you know it switches on the circuit it's fine okay all right hope you guys you have enjoyed this video hope you've learned something i appreciate I appreciate you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share and sharing i mean to only those people that you think that this kind of content you know uh help them okay so thank you very much for watching until next time I'm out.